Uh, it's not a difficult task to achieve well, I'd these. I'd say it is quite a difficult task. Yeah, in healthcare, this it's not. We've, we've got these specific CAD tools that are really developed around helping the programmer get the result that they need from, from the quality of the program. Welcome to MTD's Technical Corner. I'm here with Josh from Hypermill, and we're gonna talk about all the CAD functions and model functions in the Hypermill that make sure that you're making parts uh, right every day. Now, Josh, can you just first of all walk me through? It's really important for a model to be as the customer intended when you bring it into your CAM system. How does Hypermill ensure that? Okay, so uh, yeah, our algorithms for importing are, are top notch. We can direct interface, first of all, with many of your large design packages. So whether it be a solid part, NX, Katia, all your big names, all those uh, good file types that you know for the export, we can bring those in via direct interfacing. So this allows us to maintain the quality of those models upon import. They're not having to go through that separate translation process, maybe into a step file back into Hypercad S. Yeah? We can direct interface with those original file types. So I guess that allows you to maintain all the detail of the part and nothing's lost in translation. Yeah, the integrity is kept. Okay, so once you've imported the right model as the customer intended into your, um, into your CAM system, I guess there are some problems that manufacturing engineers face when you're trying to actually write all the tool paths for that part. Um, the end in maybe mismatches or blending errors, and you need to have really powerful surface modeling that allows you to extend faces to close holes um, so, you can, so you can actually generate the right tool paths at the right um, stock level of the part. How does Hypermill make that easy? Yeah, so we've got a series of uh, CAD tools that really simplify this process. Uh, it's not a difficult task to achieve well, I'd these. I'd say it is quite a difficult task. Yeah, in healthcare, this it's not. We've, we've got these specific CAD tools that are really developed around helping the programmer get the result that they need from, from the quality of the program. Whether it be inverting UV directions, uh, inverting the surface normals, surface extensions, all of these can actually happen really easily via a, a, a CAD tool selection. Um, the, the, the importance of, of bringing in that decent data as well, um, during that translation uh, process, we can ensure class A surfaces are maintained. So the class A surface in the automotive uh, sort of industry, really important, really high quality surfaces. We're bringing those in via step file or direct interface as well. So that make sure when you've got complex contours, let's say for a door panel for a car, you've not got weird little mismatches or facets or triangulation errors on the surface. But this all sounds very complex. And someone who's a manufacturing engineer who just knows, they knows they know machine tools, they know cutting tools, they know the CAM system really well. But for them, surface modeling is a bit, can be a bit of a dark art. Is it really that easy in HyperCAD? So you can see it on the screen behind me. Uh, the extension faces, uh, CAD tool, really simple. You're selecting the face that you want to achieve on the machining on. We do a tangential, nice extension straight off the surface with a defined amount. We can check uh, against adjacent faces on that. It was checking undercuts there as well, which is a really complex thing. You'd have to go in, find it, have a look at it, delete that single face, but this Absolutely. does it all for you. Absolutely. So yeah, colors, uh, we can even add in the stop surface band to really get that nice edge around that top uh, tool path. Would you find, I guess in, in some other kind of systems, you'd find you'd have to be manually coloring these faces and choose uh, the right manufacturing faces and stock levels. It's, it's almost like having a surface modeling expert inside your CAM package. Yeah, there's, when it comes to Hypermill and Hypercad S, we need the functionality and then we develop on making it easy. If it's not easy to use, we don't develop it. And that's so important for the MEs for um, in reducing the time it takes for them to, to write all the tool paths and get, because what is important is just about getting the model from the customer and getting it on the machine as quick as possible. Now. And that's all about the lead time and the turnaround time back to the customer. What about when they've, they've spent a day making all these beautiful tool paths, they've got this fantastic simulation, they're about to send it to the machine, and the customer says, oh, hang on, sorry, I've forgotten this contour needs to change, and maybe we're going to change this bore size. What, what happens then? Yeah, we, we all know model re, uh, revisions can be a difficult task to manage. Um, you've got, like you said, you've got the whole program set out, and then we get that revision come in. We've got a command called compare and merge, and this is a really nice interface for interchanging the surfaces from the new and the old. So the integrity of the program that we've, we've already programmed, that can stay safe. We can import the new surfaces and only the toolpaths that are affected by the change need to be re reprogrammed. 
So again, compare and merge, take out the old, insert the new, reselect and calculate, you're good to go. And that sounds like a function that I definitely wish I had when I was programming toolbath, because you bring in a new model and every toolpath goes red, it says a missing boundaries, missing surface, missing geometry. That would make it a lot easier to turn around those quick changes and make, you, make sure that your customer thinks you are the best in the industry. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've talked a lot about manufacturing engineers, um, but then they don't make up the whole of the shop floor. Josh, what about the, man, the operator setters, the technicians, the, the lower level engineers and the apprentices? Can they use the, the CAD systems inside Hypermill? Yeah, so absolutely. I mean, it all starts with the training process. You know, you get three days on site training, which should allow you to start creating those simple, simple blocks, those modifications to that model that you need to make, uh, you know, capping off holes. It's really simple. We really designed a system that's easy from the ground up. Okay, you don't need to be a CAD expert in order to be achieving these, uh, these special surfaces and all these direct modeling functions. Brilliant. And if people want to get in touch with OpenMind, how, how can they find out more about the system? Okay, so phone this up, look on our website, there's plenty of information, there's email addresses, numbers, uh, we can do a direct call and we can even come in on site and, and demo to you. Um, it's just a phone call away.